All right. Shalom to the nation of Israel. And first and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. Um, I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midlands Branch, coming at you with another quick lesson. And as always, before I get into my lessons or my uh, videos, this message goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible and also to the Israelite foreigners that are scattered amongst the heathen nations and that may take on a typical look of another nation but if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino or Native American descent by the seed of your father you are considered an Israelite as well so salam to you brothers and sisters that are scattered worldwide and that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, so basically, as you can see, I got this video queued up on the screen, okay, that I'm going to go into. And this video is off on one of the brothers, okay, that's part of the ministry that's pushing the word of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay. And his channel is uh, Rawah La Yahshua Allah, okay. He put up, you know, edifying videos. Uh, uh, different topics, okay, and here in this video, as you can see, the title uh, that he gave it is Follow the Money Spooky, okay, and basically, uh, this individual, as you see, okay, which is not the brother, but, you know, here on the screen, okay, you know, a, a so-called um, black man, okay, a, a, a so-called Negro, it seems to be, uh, a Israelite, Okay, and basically in this video, he's going to go into the rap industry. As recently you've seen, you know, these rappers, okay, uh, uh, that sign, that were one sign getting put to death, okay, especially you see those rappers in the, in the background or that poetry, okay, that those rappers done deceased, man. Okay, and he's going to go into this quick video. Okay, going into the the music industry, how corrupt it is when it comes to the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. That's entice, and that's one assigned, you know, to these certain rap labors, rap labors, labels. It's so like a rap label labels. Okay, to you know to make their their dream as being a, a rapper. Okay, you know, the typical rapper as you can see the data, they have the the music videos. Okay, to push forth their they talent, okay, and and you know they lavish lifestyle, okay, or the fancy cars, the you know the houses, the jewelry, the money, the women, okay, but it all come with a price eventually, when it comes to the, these rappers that sell their soul unto Satan, okay, that run the music industry, by the way of Esau Edom, okay, of these uh elites, man, okay, mainly the less illuminated ones, okay, starting with uh, Amalek, okay, the the so-called, you know, uh, Jew, okay, that runs everything, and he signed a lot of these rappers, or they signed a lot of these rappers onto these certain labels, okay, that they sell out to promote, okay, um, the rap music, which in these days of time is nothing but wickedness, man, okay, as these rappers now, they're promoting uh, violence, okay, uh, by the way, uh, murdering each other, okay, uh, uh, pushing, um, thug, the thug life, the gangster life, the trap life, okay, when they're dealing with drugs, okay, uh, 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 uh promoting whoredom, okay, adultery, okay, uh, 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 fraud, 
stealing, you know, the, the typical music that you hear today that these rappers push out. But it's a hand behind that, okay? And that's going into Esau Edom, okay? Which is the wicked that the Bible speak of. And these Edomites sign these rappers, okay, to push their agenda, okay? The furthermore destroys as a nation. Because a lot of our people, they're into music, which is supposed to be motivation, supposed to be inspired, okay, to such as a nation as us, okay? But they're, they, 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 they sign these rappers to push wickedness, man, which is contrary to the ways of the God of Israel, okay, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the God of the Bible, okay, who the Most High, who the world calls most the Most High or God, his name is Yahweh in the Paleo Hebrew, and his um, beloved son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, okay, his name is Yahweh Shai, as well in the Paleo Hebrew. And they are the powers of the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, okay? And when you read into the scriptures, the law, statute, commandments was given unto us, okay, which is righteousness. But due to us being in captivity, being rebellious, and here in these times, under the rule of our enemies, uh, starting with Esau, Edom. Okay, now Esau, Edom has the mind frame to furthermore to corrupt us, man. Okay, to furthermore uh, um, to stir us in the wrong direction from our power of many, and by many ways. Okay, and the rap industry in this time is one of the ways, man. Okay, that Esau set up these rappers once again to push wickedness man okay so i'm gonna play this video and i'm gonna get into some scriptures okay and you're gonna see the corruption of the rap game man okay or the hip-hop industry as they call it and once again man you're seeing the reflect of it okay when it comes to these rappers being set up pushing all type of wickedness and uh and now people that look up to these rappers they live their lifestyle okay of what they're listening to okay that's why you're seeing the hood, the term hood, okay, where they got a lot of violence in it, man, a lot of corruption, okay, a lot of uh, 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 murder, uh, as I may, may mention, okay, uh, uh, drugs, and all of it, all of it, all of it is enticed by these rappers, man, that Esau Edom has sold, uh, set up, that sold out, man, and he's going to go into this video how these rappers, okay, that signed to the labels. Okay, basically, in the past years, okay, and months, you start to see more and more rappers get put to death, okay? And mainly by the way of them getting uh, gunned down, okay? Yeah, but that's what they're promoting. And and eventually, the word is going to catch up to them, man, okay? Because what the scripture says, life and death lie in the power of the tongue, okay? So these rappers that get put to death, Okay, especially by the way of other uh, uh, Negroes, Latino Native Americans that come against them and, 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 and shoot them down. Okay, that's the judgment of the Lord. And on top of that, it's a insurance policy for a lot of these uh, record labels. Okay, and they always got that saying, okay, you, you're uh, better known, okay, after your death. Okay, and that were these less illuminated ones have pushed, okay, uh, what they had caused to a lot of these rappers that got put to death, and they take out that insurance policy to make money off their death, okay, and still say they sell their records, okay, due to their mourning, and people, you know, uh, uh, idolize that, man, okay, so basically Esau Edom capitalized off their death, man, okay, more than they were, more than they was living, Okay, why they was pushing their music. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this video. I made a video a while ago talking about the strange amount of rappers that have been passing away almost randomly in the last few years. I talked about some similarities like these artists wearing five star rings and how some of them are coincidentally under the same label known as Empire. These coincidences led to a strange theory that a lot of these artists and rappers may be being sacrificed instead of just passing away from a random accident. Yeah, and the kind, and on top of that, that he make mention of those five pointed star rings, okay, which actually go back to uh, uh, Baphomet, okay, one of the 
the gods, gods, uh, idols of Esau Edom under the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, and that's who these rappers worship when they sign over to these labels, man, and, and promote, you know, uh, wickedness. Okay, and they, and then these days of times they coming out blatantly, a uh, bold saying how they worship Satan, how they on demon time. Okay, how they sold they sold to the devil. Okay, due to the 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 the, the um the riches that come behind it, and all that just to uh, uh paint a bad image to make the nation of Israel look more uh corrupt, more uh, uh, criminals, as, as I may mention, thugs, gangsters, and these and this rap industry play a big part in that. But at the end, uh, it's Esau Edom, okay, that's uh spearheading it, man. Okay, and that's why you're seeing these rappers getting take out. Okay, eventually it's your how about Shmuel was shot. Okay, although they have the saying of a sacrifice, these rappers being a sacrifice. Okay, under these labels, so the heads of them of these labels, Amalek or Esau Edom can get more money in their pocket. Okay, and, and, and off their records. Okay, but eventually that's your how about Shmuel shot bringing judgment on these rappers, man. And Esau Edom, they're going to soon pay too, okay? Because they're not going to get away, okay? How about Shemal Shah is coming back to bring judgment on the nation of Edom, okay? But right now, you're starting to see how about Shemal Shah visiting the nation of Israel. And, and mainly uh, amongst that is these rappers, man, okay? And those that following them, man, that want to uh, uh, live that lifestyle, man. Now that might sound crazy, but what's strange is that earlier this week, an artist named PNB Rock passed away, and he was under this exact same label known as Empire. And people are already suspicious that he might have been set up after someone who he was with posted his location before the incident went down. A lot of people have pointed out that there's been a strange amount of artists that have passed away almost randomly in the last few years, and it reminded me of something that Cat Williams said about the industry. I want you to check it out, and let me know what you think in the comments. In business, nothing is coincidental, or you will be hearing who's losing money. In all of these situations, it's only the artist that's losing. Somebody makes big money. When these rappers get killed, not incidental. Somebody made $100 million and now don't have to talk to that artist or none of their crew. Don't have to validate none of their contracts. Now only got to deal with the mama. Only got to see her once a year and it's over. And the money goes up and up and up. So they killed this $20 million guy, but they beat $60 million in benefits. Yeah, and so, you know, like Cat William said, man, okay, which is a comedian, okay, and who's the head of that, man? Okay, are these record labels? Okay, Esau Edom, that's benefiting off these uh, Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, rappers, deaf, okay, through that insurance policy, man, okay? And Cat William should know, okay, all the times that, you know, once the time he, you know, sold out, to, you know, to have that fame and fortune, okay, then prior years coming against uh, uh, the elites trying to expose them or what's really happening behind the scene of, uh, of famous rappers and, uh, uh, you know, artists and um, celebrities that's into the Hollywood industry, okay? And once you speak out against them, okay, uh, of these certain rappers that are trying to take a stand and speak out of what's happening, okay, all these certain celebrities, okay, hey, they... Uh, uh, go against that oath, and next thing you know, man, their their life is miserable, man. Okay, they gotta watch over their shoulder whenever they walking out of their house. Okay, they gotta worry about paparazzi. They gotta worry about their their image, their their name being dragged through the mud. Okay, defaming them. Okay, but that's the price they they and, and the oath they take. Okay, even to the certain point that a lot of these celebrities they go broke. Okay. You never hear them again, or even till they get silenced, okay, for for coming against their handlers, okay. Hey, but this why people uh in the world, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans, are aspiring to what you want to become, because the average Negro, Latino, Native American mind frame, okay, they want to be rappers, 
okay, to be successful. They want to be ball players. They want to be movie actors, okay? They want to be juiced in, man, because they see the lifestyle that's pushed by the way of social media, okay, by the way of, of the TV, okay, through these entertainers, man, okay? But it's a price you have to pay because eventually this is Esau Edom rulership under the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, and if you want to get down, you have to go about their agenda. Okay, and and denounce, okay, the morality, of uh, 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 what you uphold. Okay, as being a, you know, uh, uh, especially a Negro Latino Native American, especially going against the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot, that our people don't want to acknowledge, man. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. And they had some people from your city do it. I've been making a few videos talking about how it seems like artists are passing away almost out of nowhere in the last few years. And a lot of you brought up some pretty good points. Some of you mentioned how you believe that record labels were getting life insurance for their artists so that if their artists could not or would not make enough money for them, they could just them and then collect on the insurance. And while that might sound like a wild theory, there's actually an artist named French Montana that came out saying that record labels were taking out insurance policies on artists. And this theory only started because of the suspicious amount of artists that have passed away from one specific label known as Empire. Another really good point made is that when a lot of these artists leave our world, their music, albums, and merchandise blow up even more and bring their labels even more money. Hey, so that's the agenda, man. Okay, you see Biggie on the end. Okay, he even had that song where I always remember, you nobody to somebody kill you. Okay, and, and, and that's the statement. Okay, that this individual just said, man. Okay, how these rappers, you know, they have that lime life, that that peak of their career, making their their music, okay, promoting their music, okay, and eventually, and when they get put to death, okay, their music come more popular, and the 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 money, uh, sky rate, but not for their family, okay, uh, uh but for these record labels. Okay, which once again is run by Esau Edom, uh, mainly Amalek. Okay, the small hatters, man. Okay, that's going to get the big profit or the chunk of the change. Okay, and so that's it on the um on this video. And once again, you even got, you know, once again, like ain't nothing wrong with listening to music. Okay, brothers in the faith. Okay, we listen to music. Okay, but it's about how the reaction of the lifestyle, okay? Because a lot of people, they listen to this music and they actually uh, uh, portray their lifestyle of what these rappers are doing, okay? And the music now that they pushing, man, is totally demonic, man, okay? And, and brothers, you know, have the talent to make music, okay? But that's just a, a, a basically just a, you know, something brothers doing in spare time, man, okay? Because you got, Individuals that know about Israel that's promoting uh, the rap music, okay, in the movement of is, uh, Israel, okay. A lot of these Israelite organizations, such as IUIC, okay, uh, Sakari, you know, uh, you know, those that know they Israelites, okay, but you know, it's, you know, instead of pushing the truth to the fullest, okay, they, you know, they bring in worldly things into the, the truth, man. Okay, and that's all done by the way of them trying to have uh, fame, okay, to gather viewers, okay? And that's why most of the time this truth is looked at as entertainment. A lot of these individuals that follow Israel, they don't really seek Israel or the God of the Bible, okay, the, the for repentance, okay, for the serving Yahweh Shem Shai, okay, to look for the coming destruction, not taking heed to the prophecies, the signs, the coming of Jacob's trouble. All hell is about to break loose and the Yahweh Shah is coming back to bring deliverance, okay? Only to a, a remnant, okay, which is the elect, the 144,000 and one third. Okay, you have individuals amongst Israel of uh, these different camps that push and, and, and promote music, okay, amongst their congregation. And a lot of these people that follow them, they just in it for it to be entertained, man. Okay, okay, that's why uh, the apostles of Great Millstone, okay, mainly Apostle Cabal always going into how that you're not supposed to bring the music and trying to mix it in with the, the truth. 
a lot of people, once again, look at it as entertainment. OK. But you see the corruption of the uh, 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 rap in the world, man. OK, it has and it has a major effect on our nation, man. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and get into uh, um, the scriptures. And I'm going to start off with uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his soul, lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Yeah, because eventually Yahweh Bashim al ruleth over the spirits, man, over the soul. Okay? And Yahweh Bashim al had gave the wicked of our people, the non-believers, the two-thirds over to the ways of this world, which is being run by Esau Edom. Okay? And, and, and which our people follow the corruption that Esau Edom push through these different avenues or these different agendas, man. And the rap industry being one of them. Okay? Hollywood as well, man. Okay? That's corruption. That's why you're seeing so much exposure coming out of the wickedness behind it, man. Okay? But you have our people that that's willing to sell their soul for fame and fortune and for clout, okay? Just eventually to, to be judged. Okay? You start to see these rappers uh, 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 being uh, taken out, okay, by the Lord. Okay? And these entertainers, man. Because Yahweh Bashim al Shah is visiting the earth and is about to bring all this wickedness that this world promote, okay, under Esau Edom, and that our people are into, man. Okay? So it says, For what what for what is a man profit if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Yeah, these sellouts, man. They gain the the, the, the whole world by their talent and by selling out, okay, to get the fame, the fortune. Okay, just to only be destroyed, man. Okay, and you seen that? And it says, and it says, or oh, what shall a man give for in change for his soul? Okay, because eventually you have Bashim al is gonna judge uh, these sellouts, man. Okay, in particular, in this case, these rappers. Now I'm gonna go to the book of um, Isaiah, chapter twenty-eight. And I'm going to go to verse 14. And it reads, Wherefore hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, that rule these people which is in Jerusalem. Okay, and it's going to these certain leaders, man. Okay, that our people look up to. Okay? And, and besides these leaders as in these, um, these public figures, okay, you have rappers that look up to be leaders. Okay, amongst our people, that our people idolize, man. Okay, see as idols that they want to grow up and be like. But you see they, the weakness that they're pushing, and our people are enticed by that, man. Okay, and that's why you're seeing so much judgment in the, in the, in the communities. Okay, due to that rap music, man. And certain other industries that's promoting Esau Edom agenda to have our people completely going left, man. Okay. Um... Continue on, and it says, Because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell, are we at agreement? Yeah, and that's what these rappers have done, and people that have followed them, man. Okay, these rappers that sell out, they made a covenant with death, okay, by agreeing to Esau Edom agenda and pushing the wickedness that Esau has set up. Okay, because a lot of these rappers, when they make their music, okay, and, you know, they do they, they lyrics, Okay, they you know with the hooks. Okay, when they write these songs, a lot of it is uh, enticed by you saw you know to tell them what to write. Okay, and if they want to keep that bag and keep that fame and fortune, they go along with it, man. Okay, but that's still making a covenant with death, because eventually, how about Shmuel Shah is going to bring Esau Edom out of power by the way of destruction, man. That's why you're seeing the plagues coming, hitting this place, and you're seeing the downfall of America. Okay? Because eventually, Yahweh Bashim is going to destroy this place by the way of thermonuclear destruction for all the abominable filth that it done pushed, man. Okay? Under the rule of Esau Edom. But two thirds of our people that's involved, okay, that, that, that side to go after the ways of Esau Edom through the system and what they're promoting on the left hand side, man, 
through wickedness, through this witchcraft that they're pushing, okay, they're going to be judged, man. Okay, that's them making a covenant with death. Okay, these sellouts. Okay, in this case, man, amongst these celebrities. Okay, and it says, and it says, and uh, because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell, are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. Yeah. And that's a lot of these rappers and these sellouts, man. Okay, you how about Shemal Shah bringing judgment and scourge? Okay, these plagues. Okay, but they so prideful in their lifestyle, they think they'll never be judged. They're thinking they'll never be taken out. Okay, they're going to be on a high horse forever. Okay, up on a uh, uh, selling out. Okay, uh, uh, unto Esau Edom and these industries, man. Okay, but eventually that judgment catch up to them. As you can see, those these rappers that are recently getting put to death, man. Okay? And it says, For we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Okay, in this case, going into these rappers, man, and these entertainers that don't sell out, man. Okay, they make lies their refuge. Okay, not Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They don't want to listen to the, the men of the Lord that's out there teaching. And these rappers and these entertainers, they know about the truth, man. Okay? These celebrities, they know about the truth. Okay? But they done sold out and want to be of uh, this world, man. Okay? But eventually, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring judgment upon them, man, as we see seeing. Okay? And all these top rappers going to get judged, man. Okay, you see these low-level rappers getting judged, okay, and, you know, certain rappers that had a high esteem uh, uh, in this life, uh, in this time, okay, it just as um, Coolio, okay, he, you know, once was known to be a, a, a rapper, okay, but look at the way he went, uh, uh, went out, okay, the Lord brought judgment on him, okay, well, uh, last week, man, okay, they say that he had a, a heart attack, Okay, but before all that, man, he was talking about exposing the, the Illuminati and how things he did to get where he at. He um uh, um he looked back on it and you know and and how it, you know affect his uh um life after his career done went down. Okay. And a lot of rappers regret that, man. And eventually the Lord bring that judgment upon them. Okay, because they trust in this, this system. They trust in Esau, Edom through these different industries, especially the, the gender uh, 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 hip uh, rap, okay, which is nothing but pushing wickedness to the to the most point, man. Okay? So that's them making lies their refuge, and it says under their falsehood, how we hid ourselves, okay, being comfortable, thinking that nothing's going to happen to them because they, you know, have that, lifestyle uh, lavishly, okay, think they're they're good, okay? But eventually, once again, Yahweh Bashim Shah bring that judgment. Therefore, this say the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation stone, a tri stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. And that's eventually going to Yahweh Shah being that chief cornerstone and the elect, okay, of the nation of Israel, Okay, the 144,000 is going to believe in Yahweh Shai, okay, which eventually going to come back and deliver the elect and set up righteousness, okay, a righteous kingdom, okay, that we're going to rule over all these heathen nations, starting with Esau, Edom, okay? Let me continue on. And it says, Judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet, and the hell shall weep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hidden, the hidden place. And it starts with his truth exposing Esau, Edom. And these industries, man, that our people are into. Okay, and that's a warning, okay, that Yahweh Bashim al Shai through the prophet set up that let our people know not to go that way. They come back and serve Yahweh Bashim al Shai and in righteousness and in truth. They come back and acknowledge the law, statute, commandments. Okay, as the Lord gave unto us the true covenant, the true agreement, okay, that leads to righteousness, that leads to blessings. Okay, to lead to uh, security from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the covering of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, not to follow the ways of Esau, Edom, and these heathens, and what they got set up for our people, which is nothing but confusion, 
and ultimately what's going to lead to the downfall, okay, the destruction, man, okay, from the Heavenly Father. And we're starting to see that, okay? And it says on um, verse 18, And your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. Okay, eventually, Yahabashim Yashah is going to bring Esau Edom out of power. And two-thirds of our people that sell out and bow down to him and submit to him, okay, that follow the ways of the, the system, man. Okay? And it says, continue on, and when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then shall, then, then ye shall be trodden down by it. Okay, so eventually Yahweh Bashimah is going to bring judgment. In this case, going into the, the top of this video, you see these rappers being judged, man. And Yahweh Bashimah is bringing the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble. All this mirth and entertainment that our people up, you know, evolve in and seek after of the American dream and thinking this place is going to keep on prospering. Eventually, the time will come when Yahweh Bashimah is going to uh, bring the rule of this place down, man. Okay, that's why you're seeing the, the uh, coming financial crash, a coming famine, shortage of food, okay? Civilization breaking down. The morals of the people at a, a, a all-time uh, low. The corruption of the people, man, here in America. Because eventually, Yahweh had judgment, Shah judgment laid for this place, man, as it, as it is written. Now, let me get this. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 4. And it says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound on the grinding is low. Yeah, all these jobs, okay, all these, you know, certain companies, okay, that, you know, make America run, okay, the, the work, okay, here in America where people, you know, get up to work, okay, eventually, how about Shema Sha is going to bring a, a financial crash, as we can see. Okay, which is looming. Okay, uh, economy crash. And we already know, and that's at that stage, there's going to be a lot of uproars of the people. Okay, civil unrest, the time of martial law. Okay, the, the pushing of the MOTB, the micro, which is in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, which is going to replace the phil the physical dollar. Okay, because these elites are moving forward to a, a digital system. Okay, a digital currency. Okay, worldwide, and most definitely, they're going to push it here in America, Babylon the Great. And those of our people that take that MOTB, they're going to be destroyed by the way of those missiles, okay, at the peak of the Third World War, okay, according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And then, best believe, man, as they set up these rappers to push their agenda, okay, as you see they push the, the lifestyle of money, how much more when there's the physical money is obsolete, and they push an agenda of the MOTB, a digital currency. And you're going to see rappers that's going to sell out to push that agenda, man. And they're going to cause our people to fall, man. Okay, to be snared to their destruction. Uh, continue on. And it says, And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound on the grinding is low. And he shall raise, and he shall raise up at the voice of the bird. Okay, going into the, the, the work. Okay, ain't going to be no work. As the scripture says, there ain't going to be no work for Egypt. Okay, which this is the modern day Egypt, America, for the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And the word Egypt, okay, it's a Greek word or Greek term, which means bondage. And America is our modern day bondage. Okay, but you're seeing this place fa falling, man, financially on all levels, especially when it comes to the jobs. Okay, so that's what it's going into. But that, this is the point I want to get. And it says, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Okay, the entertainment, man. Okay, you're seeing the, the corruption of the music, the genre of, of music, man. Okay, for the for the past uh, uh, decades now, ever since hip-hop came about. Okay, you see how the transition from the 80s, okay, the, the, the 90s, the, uh, the 2000s, the mid-2000s, now here in 2022. Every era of rap or hip hop, as they say, done worse or uh, uh, got waxed worse and worse, man. Okay? So now what we have, uh, uh, all type of the wickedness, man. And that's why you're seeing Yahweh Shah bringing judgment on these rappers, man. 
and the exposures, the exposure of the rap industry. Okay? Because the Lord is not dealing with that. Okay? It's, it's going to be brought low. Okay? So that's it on that. Let me see, y'all. Let me get this. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 7. And it says, The new wine mourneth, the vine languish, and all the merry heart do sigh. Yeah, the, the wine represent philosophies, man. Okay, and one of the new wines are philosophies, a false philosophy, okay, that our people uphold and follow, okay, is the genre of the the music, okay, in this case, the rap, man. Okay, but you're seeing it languish, man. You're seeing the, the, the outcome of it, how it don't wax worse and worse and how demonic it is and what they're pushing, and you're seeing the reflect of it. Okay, that are people listening to this new age music. Okay, that are leading to uh, these rappers talking about all wickedness and murder. Okay, adultery. Okay, abominable, alternative lifestyle, drugs, witchcraft, and you seeing our people all into that, man. Okay, eventually you see the outcome of our people destroying each other behind that, man. Okay, so that's part of the the language. Okay, but eventually, once you how about you shall bring judgment, and the mirth is going to be taken away. Okay, ain't gonna be no celebrating and going out there to the clubs and listening to your favorite rappers or your favorite musician. Okay, going to these concerts. Okay, cause all hell is gonna break loose. Okay, okay, and this place is gonna be total in a, a police state. And it says the mirth of the tablet cease. And the noise of them that rejoice in it, the joy of the harp cease. Yeah, all that entertainment, all that mirth, all that partying is going to be done away with. They shall not drink wine with a song, and strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Okay, so ain't going to be no more partying, going out there clubbing and the last call for alcohol. Okay? All ladies free before, before 10 or 11. Okay, you know the madness that Jake go into, man. Okay, when they deal to deal with this this mirth when it comes to the clubs, the bars and the party and the you know the the you know so they can you know have fun, being in the spirit of mirth, all that's gonna cease, man. And we starting to approach that time. Okay, and it says, the city of confusion is broken down and every house shut up, that no man may come. That no man may come in. Yeah, they're going into the time of civil civilization um, broken down, man. Okay? Where there's no... Uh, um, uh, where there's... Well, I say like this. Where there's martial law. Okay? Curfews. Travel bans. And knock you all throughout the streets. Okay? Race wars. Civil wars. Okay? Everything just going haywire, man. Okay, going completely destructive. Okay. And that city of confusion represent what? America. Because America in the Bible is known as uh, Babylon. Babylon the Great, which the word Babylon, Baal, in the Hebrew means confusion. And that's what you have here. Nothing but confusion. And the rap industry, or like they say, the rap game, play a lot of uh, play a lot of uh wickedness or play a big role in wickedness of pushing confusion, man. Okay? And it says, there is a cry, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah, and they're going to be crying out for that true wine, meaning the, the, the truth. Because Yahweh Bashim al Shah have his men out here while, while this word is still available. Okay, by the way of the highways and byways and the internet. Okay, but soon to come, Yahweh Bashim al is going to bring a famine of the word. Okay, the Lord is going to put the spirit on Esau, Edom, to, to bring the, uh, the, 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 termin, the, the termination, okay, okay, to, to come against the truth by the way of terminating uh, the channels, as we can see. Okay, brothers witnessing that now. YouTube channels getting cut as they come with uh, legislations as um, hate speech. Black identity of screamers, okay, when it come against uh, 
this word being pushed, which is righteousness. Okay? Somehow the men of the Lord, we're, we're deemed as extremists, terrorism, the problem. Okay? But you want to see them say extremists against these rappers because they got a hand into promoting rap. Okay? And these sellouts that our people willing to do their bidding to far the more corrupt our nation, man. Okay? But that's not extremists. Okay? When they're talking about our people doing videos, rap music videos, these rappers, okay, talking about killing each other, promoting drugs, promoting whoredom, these female rappers, promoting about uh, 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 um, being uh, um, the breadwinner. They don't need a man. Okay, boss bitch. Okay, these are terms they use, man. Okay? They, they promoting... Uh, uh, women being with women, okay? Uh, women being uh, as masculine as men. Want to be thugs, okay? P playing, a, uh, portraying, they, portraying themselves as men. Uh, that's in the lifestyle of being thugs and gangsters, man. Okay? Uh, 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 dealing with drugs, man. Okay? But that's not extremists. Okay? That's not terrorism. That's not a problem. Okay, those videos get millions and millions of hits. Okay? But when it comes to the men of the Lord, the word of Yahweh Shem Shah that's being pushed, or that's deemed as hate. Okay, show me once again this place is called confusion. This is America, Babylon the Great, man. Okay. Uh, continue on. And it says, there is a crime for wine in the streets. And all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah, so when the mirth of the land is gone, when things get hectic, then our people are going to want to look for the uh, the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But once again, that Lord is going to remove his prophets and remove his word, okay, from off the internet. The prophets off the streets, okay, and then they're going to be asked out, okay, because that's when the ultimate judgment during the time of Jacob trouble is going to take place. And only the elect is going to be delivered as the Lord is going to seal the elect and deliver the elect and be exempt from that judgment, man. Okay? Um, and the two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, man. And it says, In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. And that's what's coming. Okay, destruction. Let me see. Uh, let me get this. And I'll get ready to close out. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. And it says, Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, which are, which are once again, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent. Okay? The children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the, inhabit the habitation of the land. Because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh in the land. And that's going into two-thirds of our people, man. They ain't want to seek the knowledge or the truth uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, of their power, man, okay, as is still available, while the Lord have his men out there teaching, okay, but what they rather they scoff, they scorn, okay, they come against the word of the Lord, okay, and it says, verse 2, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, okay, all these things being promoted, through these rappers, man. Okay? Swearing. I put it on my mama. I put it on my uh, 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 my child. I'm going to get my ops. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm going to get that nigga, man. Okay? And it says by swearing and lying and lying. Okay? Most of these rappers that pushing that lifestyle or that gangster lifestyle, most of them, they be lying, man. Okay, they're a bunch of frauds, man. But they do it for the for their for their their status. Okay, only to what lead to people that follow them and listening to their music to go after that lifestyle, man. And you see the worst outcome of it, man. Okay, a lot of them are, are puppets, man. To push the agenda of Esau Edom. Okay, and yeah, you seen that effect. And it says and killing, and that's one of the main things that they push. A lot of these rappers okay that now you got the the the, the music uh, the drill music they're promoting negroes latino native americans killing each other okay these drill rappers 
okay, doing these videos with prop guns or, or guns in generally, okay, you know, all in the video ganged up, okay, all in the hood or with the cars and with women, women in the videos showing off, talking about in their lyrics how they can off another Negro Latino Native American man or a woman or children, drive-bys, taking out the whole family. And you see the outcome of that, man. Okay, you see the reaction of that in, in certain black community neighborhoods and our people murdering each other, man, due to that, that, that music, man. Okay, and what it's enticed and influence our people to do. Okay? And it says, and stealing, okay, and you, you, that too. How they going to kick a dough, jack boy. Okay, I'll rob them. Okay, that's the, the, the music, man, that's being pushed. Okay, I can steal this girl. Okay. And it says, and committing adultery, and committing adultery, once again, adultery going into men sleeping with other men, women. Okay. They promote that, man. Okay, how I take your, your bitch, I take your girl. Okay. Sneaking around, creeping. Okay, remember TLC had that song, Creep. Okay, these women push that too. How they have men, but they uh, uh, sneaking out around the, uh, around and about with other men or with women. That's what's being pushed through this music. Okay, and, and through the Hollywood, okay, movies, black cinema movies, hood classics. Okay, and it says... They break out in blood, touch of blood. Yeah, blood, touch of blood, meaning that our people murdering each other, man. Senseless, man. Over wickedness, man. Over over a, a fame, okay? A status. Over a, a money or a block. This my block. This my hood. Okay, over drugs. Over women. Over uh, material things. Jewelry, cars. Okay, I catch you in my hood. I'm gonna take your chain. I'm gonna take your car. That's what this this music promote, man. And you see the reaction of that, man. Okay, that's why once again you see how about Shimon Shai bringing great judgment, man. So that's it on that. Now in off with Zechariah chapter thirteen verse eight, because only a remnant is gonna be saved, man. Okay. And otherwise, meaning two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. And Zechariah 13, verse 8, get into that. Okay, this is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And it's going to over here in America. And that's going to come in various ways. Okay, or two-thirds of our people in this lifetime, that's perishing. And you're starting to see that now. Okay, you're starting to see that ethnic cleansing now. Or two thirds of our people, okay, that the Lord bringing judgment, and then you know in this case, in this topic, you seeing it with these rappers, you seeing people that our people that following the lifestyle, okay, a thug culture, black culture, gangster life, okay, drug life, okay, you seeing that man, okay, you how about Shmuel Shah cutting two thirds off, okay, and it also. Two thirds of our people gonna get cut off by the way of famine, okay, uh, 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 um, pestilence, okay, the Lord allowing Esau to come in with that sword through the through his martial law troops, the 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 the, the bring judgment, okay, and ultimately also the missiles that's gonna desolate this place, man, destroy this place, the whole landmass of America, okay. And it says, continue on, and two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And that third represent the elect, okay, the 144,000 and one third, okay? And also you can read Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4, okay? How the Lord said that he's going to exempt, okay, the men that signed and crying for all the abominations that's done in the midst of the world. That's going to here in America. The Lord's going to deliver the elect 
okay, here from out of America. And where also as well, you have the elect scattered amongst all these nations worldwide, okay, but the Lord is going to deliver the elect, okay, and the main deliverance is going to take place here in America. So this is where the main destruction, destruction is going to take place, okay? So that elect considered the 144,000 and the one-third, okay? And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried, okay? And that's going into the time of Yahweh Shemal Shah bringing the elect through the adversity, okay? As you know, the times that we are now approaching Jacob's trouble, okay? And eventually the Lord delivering his elect from out of the, the plagues and ultimately Yahweh Shah delivering the elect, uh, beaming the elect up into the chariots from those missiles, okay? Once again, especially here in America. Uh, and it says, and it says, uh, and I will bring the third part to the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried, okay? And they shall call upon my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai is my God and that's the elect, okay? And that start with the elect now coming back uh, knowledge in the truth, okay, that great awakening, okay, and the elect eventually, by the way of this word, receiving the spirit is going to be sealed, and that's going to lead to salvation for the elect, but two-thirds of our people that reject the word, okay, that's, that's non-believers, and that's want to go after the wickedness uh, 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 of the ways of this world in America, uh, and these different uh, alternative lifestyles that Esau eat them, enticing them by through their different agendas, man, Okay, in particular, this case, the rap industry and the Hollywood industry that our people sell out and follow suit, man, of people that's, uh, that they're leading, okay, going after the wickedness, man. You how about Shemal Shah is going to judge them, man, okay? But once again, the elect is going to be delivered, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here, and I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until the next time, I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kordash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Till next time, Lord willing, Shalom.